In this video, we're going to show you how to book an appointment with SARS online so that you can validate your banking details or apply to uplift, uplift a stopper that might be on your bank account, which is preventing your SARS refund from paying out. So this is a SARS homepage, sars.gov.za. If you go down a bit, you'll see book an appointment with the arrows, click on book an appointment. And to come to this page, which is a new tab or open on your internet browser. And we're just going to go through step by step what you need to tick in order to book a SARS appointment. And so what generally happens is that, and we'll show you now, is that you'll book this online and then they'll phone you, which is really cool. It works really well for everybody. So individual, if you're an individual, you're going to tick yes. And then also you must tick there, would you like to make a new appointment? Also tick that box. So make sure two boxes are ticked. And then some more questions are going to open up below. So you're going to see taxpayer information. You're going to fill out your name, your surname, your taxpayer reference number, your ID number. If you're a South African citizen, you've got an ID number. You don't need to put your passport number as well. Your email address, mobile and contact number can be the same if you only have a mobile number or cell phone. So just make sure your email uh, is correct because they're going to email you some details which you're going to talk about later. And just 100% sure that your email you put in there is correct. Okay, so now you've put in all these details and you're going to go to the next step, which is appointment information. The first line appointment channel, you're going to select, I usually select telephonic engagement, it means they're going to phone you. And once you've selected telephonic engagement, you're going to go for reason category, banking details, if you're trying to sort out your banking details as we've talked about. So then click on banking details. Then your reason for appointment is going to come up with the lifting of special stopper, which is what we talked about, slash bank details update. So either your banking details are invalid or you have a stopper you want to uplift. You're going to click on that one. And it's really simple. You're going to click uh, preferred branch, uh, you know, depending on where you live. If you live in Joburg, you can find a Joburg branch. Check for appointment and then you just click a time and date that suits you. And then um, SARS will call you. On that time and date, they are generally pretty good with with their time and getting it right and calling on time. So what's important though is that why well, I said the email is so important is that once you've confirmed your appointment, so you're going to check for appointment, you've selected the date and time, and they've said to you now a little block or tick up come up that says your appointment is confirmed, and you'll also get an email from SARS confirming your appointment and probably an SMS as well, and that case number that there's on that email SMS is very important because you need that case number to upload the supporting documents onto SARS's e-filing profile. If you don't upload supporting documents, they're not going to be able to uplift your banking details. So that's how to book the appointment. And the next video, we're going to show you what documents you need for the appointment with SARS. So what you need to upload and we're going to show you how to upload those documents. So that's it for the video today. Hopefully you found it valuable.